In order to use the GSBPM model in a big data context, a small model adaptation is needed. The second phase is replaced with the collect phase and the third phase is replaced with the prepare phase. In the collect phase, there are basically three layers. The web that represents the data source, the internet access that is responsible for web data collection, and the storage that is used to store the collected information. As an example, the scraping task is accomplished by a scraper that collects information from the web and puts it in a storage platform. In this video, the actual scraper is RootJuice. RootJuice is a custom Java application that takes as input three files. A seed file containing the list of the URLs to be scraped a list of web domains to filter out, and a configuration file. Once launched, RootJuice for each URL in the seed file collects the textual content of predefined parts of the website and put them into a CSV file. The scraped information is then loaded into Apache Solar by using a custom Java program named Solar TSV Importer. This program takes as input the previously generated CSV file and a configuration file. Solar is an open source enterprise level search and storage platform. It's possible to interact with Solar by using its web graphical user interface. As previously said, the scraped content will be loaded into Solar by using the custom Jira program Solar TSV Importer. Once launched, the program loads the content of the CSV file into Solar. This is TechMap Toolbox that stands for Text and Code Mining and Prediction. Text files are computed by text processing function by using natural language processing techniques in the text mining phase. The purpose of the text mining phase is to extract only the information that's relevant for the classification. The output of this phase is composed of four files visible on the tooltip. The purpose of the machine learning phase is the automatic detection of online job application facilities link to social media and web ordering facilities. By clicking on the edit button, it's possible to provide information on setup parameters and the classification algorithm to use. Random forest algorithm has been used here, but it's possible to use other alternative algorithms too. The goal of prediction web ordering function is to determine whether an enterprise website offers web ordering facilities or not. The output of this phase contains the scores for each obtained class and the predicted class.